What's going on guys? This is Al B and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Akai MPK Mini Play Mark III with FL Studio. Now the way I'm going to show you is going to allow you to use your drum pads like you would an MPC or traditional drum machine. In FL Studio, your metadata will remain separated into its own individual channels for each sound. This is going to make it much easier to structure and arrange your tracks. And this is also going to give you the best way to come up with a vibe or an idea really quickly. Before we get into it, guys, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Without further ado, this is Al B. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. All right, so let me just quickly show you how this works. I'm gonna do just a live loop recording so you can get an idea of how quickly you can get your ideas down using this custom workflow. So there you kind of get the idea. I could of course quantize this a little bit, make it more in time. I'm using a different driver to record my audio. So it's a little bit latent, a little bit slower. But anyway, I think you get the point. I could come back and start stacking all my different melodies using my different VSTs and keep letting it loop without really having to fuss too much. And this way I have a great idea down. I can dump out my pattern and I can start arranging. And this is really just the best workflow that you're gonna find. Cause now I can start just that quickly building out my whole song, right? So just to show you super quick that this is how you can get the best functionality out of the keyboard. Um, and you're gonna be able to tap out your drums like you just saw. You can play a melody first, come back and add your drums and really just, again, get a vibe going super quick. Now that you see how it works, let's go into how you actually get it set up for yourself. The first thing you want to do is go to akaipro.com and you want to go to your account and you want to register your controller. Once you register it, you're going to have access to the software that you need. The main piece right now is the mini play software manager. So I have already registered my controller. So I'm going to go into it and show you where to download. Open it up on the right hand side you're going to see mini play MK3 software manager. So you're going to want to download that for your PC or for your Mac. And once you download it, of course, you want to install it and run it. Once you open up the MPK mini play software manager, it's going to tell you to connect your keyboard. If it's not already, then you're going to hit next and step through these next couple of steps where you're going to be able to install the instruments that come with the controller. I'm going to uncheck mine because I have already downloaded these but you're going to keep them checked if you want to download those free VSTs and the DAW MPC beats. Once you've gone through the initial setup of the mini play software manager for you, you're going to want to go to the top left and click the settings icon. And then you're going to want to check show advanced software. Now in previous versions, there was a bug where sometimes you couldn't see the show advanced software. If that happens for you, just click around where it should be and you'll get lucky enough to hit it. <laughs> it's a little bit of a bug, but you want to make sure you get this enabled. And under apps, you should now be able to see the MPK mini play editor. This is the program that we're going to use to put the template on the keyboard. Yours will say download first. And then once you download it, you can install it. And then finally, you can open it. 
So here I have the Mini Play MK3 editor. Now that we have opened the editor, we actually need the template to install it. So make sure you go download the template. The link will be in the description. Once you download the template, it's going to download as a zip folder. On Windows, right click and extract all. Once you extract all, it will open up and you will see two different files. If you're on a Mac, you just have to double click the zip folder and it will automatically unzip it. You will see two files. One is a setup guide, which basically just goes over the things we talked about in this video. It just gives it to you in a readable PDF format. Okay. And it's going to be a good way to double check that you followed along the video very well. So if you have any issues, I suggest you check out this guide first along with the video. The other file is going to be the actual template file that we're going to open in the favorite editor. So let's go back to the favorite editor now and we can actually open the file. File, open favorite and go find the folder that we just unzipped. Mine is in downloads, open up the folder and you can see the template named FL-V2-ThisIsAlB. So we're going to open that up. Once it's open, you will know that you have the proper preset loaded because it will say FL-V2-ThisIsAlB. And when you do this, uh, don't try to just copy what's on the screen because this is just a dummy template. I'm just using it as an example. It won't actually work in the way that I've shown you. Um, so just follow along with the actual template that you downloaded. The next thing we want to do is actually push the template to the keyboard. At this moment in time, we only have it loaded into the editor. Now we need to actually push it to the keyboard. To do that, we're going to do a send. Now note that when you do a send, it will overwrite what is currently saved on the keyboard. So if you want a copy of what's on the keyboard already, a copy of what came from the factory, then you need to first do a get and then save that favorite into your system somewhere. And then you can have a copy of the original favorite. In my case, I'm going to be sending mine to favorite number one. So I'm going to just do a send and you should see send favorite success favorite has been sent successfully to the device also you want to send to ram that's going to make it active on the keyboard because you could choose between any number of the favorites to be actually working on the keyboard when you send to ram it's going to activate that template automatically and that's what the keyboard will be using so send to your favorite and send to ram now we can close out the favorite editor and go to fl studio once you open up FL Studio, go to Options, MIDI Settings. Make sure the output for the Mini Play Mark III is there and you can check Send Master Sync. For the input section, make sure it is enabled and controller type is set to generic controller. Finally, you want to set your Omni Preview MIDI channel to channel 11. Be sure to not accidentally set the port. People do that sometimes. Be sure to set Omni Preview MIDI channel 11. If you open up your MIDI settings and you see an error for the controller, make sure you have closed out the favorite editor because only one application can access the controller at a time. If you do still have the favorite editor open, then FL Studio will throw an error because it can't access it at the same time. Close that out and hit refresh device list and you should be good to go. Once we are good there, you can close this out and you should be able to tap away. But first, let me show you to make sure you have the template enabled. You hit favorites and then you hit the pad or the favorite number that you sent to from the editor. In my case, I sent it to pad one or favorite one. So I'm going to hold favorites and hit pad one or favorite one. And you will know that it's properly loaded because the LED screen will read FL-V2-ThisIsAlB. One more thing I want to make sure you understand is that to recall a favorite, you need to have internal sounds turned off and then hold favorites. And then you select the pad that you saved it to. If you have internal sounds on, when you hold favorites, it thinks you're trying to recall a favorite internal sound. Like me, I have a guitar saved and a, a piano saved as a couple of my favorite presets from the internal sounds. So make sure you have internal sounds off, you hold favorites, and then you press the pad that you saved it to when you did your send. And now you should be able to tap away.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Al B, and we are out. Yes, sir.